So this should be interesting to see what is going to progress going forward. Now that we've basically taken out the vampires and everything like that, you know, we're really getting ready for all of this. Oh. Mortals are always so amusing. I offer information, aid for your quest, and you shun me. You expect us to trust a creature of the plains? Ridiculous! A mare as arrogant as a kin. How delightful. I do so love watching egotistical braggarts stumble. <laughs> I may allow you to reconsider and accept my <laughs> offer. Of course, I may not. I haven't decided yet. You there! Find out where that creature is lurking. I want her watched. Okay. So, King Diner. <laughs> we have gone so far. But we have leagues to go before this business is concluded. We must push forward. We must find a way through the walls of the fortified city that looms ahead of us. Uh, I'm ready to help, Your Highness. A Dramora army guards the walls of the Citadel. But there are those among us who recognize the city, who knew it well before it was pulled from Nern. We can use the guild halls inside to launch a surprise attack, provided someone prepares the way. What do you need me to do then? Find a way inside and locate the Fighters Guild. Wards protect the hall, making it impossible for anyone to get in or out of the building. We know a secret tunnel that leads into the hall, but we'll be trapped inside until the wards are deactivated. Okay, no problem, Your Highness. I'll find a way to deactivate the wards then. Time is not on our side, <coughs> but I will indulge you. Ask your questions. Uh, so how do I deactivate these wards protecting the Fighters Guild? The wards are part of the defenses from an earlier era. They could be activated to protect guild halls in times of trouble. Once set, the only way in or out of the hall was through the secret passageways. You need to find the ward key. The ward key? The ward key is decorated with arcane runes that can unbind the defenses and deactivate the wards. It should be near the guild hall. Find the key and deactivate the wards. Then the fighters can emerge from the hall and surprise the Dramora. Do you have any idea on how to get inside these walls? Even the strongest armor has chinks that can be taken advantage of. Look for a place to climb or a break to crawl through. The female Dramora offered to help us, but Galerion sent her away. If you run into her, see what she has to say. Uh, well, okay, I will do that. But first explain to me what I'm supposed to be doing here in this plan again. Our ultimate goal, the portal to the planar vortex, lies deep within Molag Bal's inner sanctum. We need to defeat the forces at the Citadel before we can make our final push for the portal. To accomplish this, we have planned a two-pronged attack. What do you mean by two-pronged attack? It starts with a sneak attack launched from the Fighters Guild Hall. After you find the key and deactivate the wards. Then the mages will attack from their Guild Hall. But I'll explain that part of the plan when you meet us at the Fighters Guild. Okay. Uh, how do you know about these Guild Halls anyways? Members of our expedition recognize the city from when it was still a part of Nern. They are familiar with the Guild Halls and how we can use them to our advantage. It's ironic. One of Molag Baal's captured cities is about to be turned against him. Cool, sounds like a plan. So the the quest marker shows up there. Okay, so it's way up there. We have quite some distance to travel. Not really, but still. Are we supposed to... Oh, God. Oh, that's Lyran. Hey! Ah, little mortal. While it might be entertaining to watch you bumble about the Citadel, I would much rather just see you get about your business. I'm sure that whatever you have planned will ultimately work in my favor. Okay, so first of all, why don't you just tell me what you're talking about? Right to the point? Yes. How distressful. Oh, very well. You seek a way into the Citadel, one that won't attract any undue notice. As it happens, I know just the thing. 
If you follow the east wall, you'll find a breach that leads inside. So she is definitely being helpful. She's telling me exactly how to get inside the, the fortress, basically, the citadel. Uh, why are you helping us anyways? Never look a gift, Daedroth, in the mall, little mortal. I offer information, nothing more. The warded building you seek is near the main gate. The kin will try to stop you. If they don't succeed, we will speak again. I'll look for the breach then. Thank you. I'll let the others know that you've got a way in. Uh, it, okay, sure. Do you, boo-boo? So that's not the entrance then. We have to find a breach in the wall. And I'm guessing that's exactly what this quest marker is. So let's go towards this direction. Find a way into the citadel. Don't mind if I do. So we're looking for the wall. It's got to be this. And now I'm stuck. There you go. Get, oh my god. This this is ridiculous. There you go. Hey, we're here. We're here. Hi, Lyrin. And so, the little mortal, once more into the breach. I believe the Aeliot King wants you to find a hidden key. Hurry. I think your friends have already made it into the sealed hall. Why isn't this break... Why isn't this break in the wall guarded? How amusing. The little mortal suspects a trap. You are wise to fear the duplicity of Dramora, but I assure you that you are safe enough. Illusions hide this area from the kin. Just a little trick I recently picked up. Man, she's being... uncharacteristically helpful. Not her as a person, like Lyrinth, but her as a Dramora, you know? Uh, what can I expect inside the Citadel? Death, most likely. <laughs> the kin that guard this citadel will try to kill you. It's generally what we do. The old hall you seek is near the main gate. If I were you, and most thankfully I am not, I would make my way there post haste. Why are you helping us anyways? <clears throat> Technically I am helping you, not them. But this constant desire to know the why of things grows tiresome. I don't want to confuse you. Just know that I have a debt to settle. As long as helping you advances my goal, I will continue to do so. So you're using me. <laughs> the look on your face. <laughs> How precious. You are dismayed. Why should this truth upset you? You benefit from my assistance, just as I benefit from yours. Patience, little mortal. You shall see. Now off with you. Nothing will come of us standing here. So that's more characteristically of a Dramora. Okay. Collect Fighters Guild War Keys. Why do I get the feeling that we're being used and set up, that we're going to be set up here in a second? Or attacked, I should say. Oh, found the Fighters Guild. Guess I, I definitely can't do that yet. They did say that I couldn't get in because there's like those wards, so I have to find the key, which is literally in the house right behind them, apparently. Deactivate. That was. That was a little bit too easy. Really easy. Hmm. Fighter. Is there... Oh, there's a trap door right there. Is, do we have to go upstairs? Yes, okay. Hey, King Dinar. I knew you'd be able to deactivate the wards. The Fighters Guild troops have already begun our two-pronged attack. First of all, how did you get in here? If I'm the one that deactivated the ward. Probably through the trap door. Uh, what do we need to, uh, what do we need to do to launch phase two? 
The fighters will draw the attention of the Dramora while you go to the upper city. For the mages to utilize their guild hall's portal, you need to get it working. Find the four portal stones and activate them. Then the mages can join the fray. Why do the mages need a portal? As Galerion pointed out, the old guild hall portals are designed to move people and material quickly. More efficient and less draining than personal teleport spells. And of course, they can arrive en masse. Uh, just what we need to surround the enemy. Okay. I'll get the portal working then. No problemo. After all, we are Meridius Army. This is it, right? This is the part where we're going to start getting attacked because they're launching the first part of the attack. That guy scared me. Uh, first part of the attack, they said they were going to fight them while I go and collect these. Or, uh... To, to the thing or whatever. They're coming through the gates again. We've got to stop them. Let's go. Ow. I was getting a little lag right there. I was pushing buttons and it wasn't... Wasn't really going through for some reason. Okay, so collect portal stones. There's four of them. Actually, I think I found one right here. Yeah, this is one. That was easy. And there's one right there. Look at that. Man, look, we're on a roll here. I swear I thought that was an enemy. It looks like they're all in the vicinity. So we just basically have to keep an eye out like this one. And there's no enemies here, surprisingly. That's three and the fourth one's right here. That was... I really thought we were going to meet some resistance. I guess... I guess it's just one guy. <laughs> they spawned in so late, it's ridiculous. It's okay, though. It, it, it allowed us to do this quickly. One more. So this is the portal, right? What's up, Vanus? Long time no see. Did it again, my fearless friend. Well done. Thank you. With the Dramora caught between my powerful mages and King Dinar's relentless fighters, they won't know which way to turn. The two-pronged attack is underway. What's the next step, Vanus? The Mages Guild and the Fighters Guild will complete the conquest of the Citadel. But we need someone to storm the Pyramid Stronghold and deal with the leader of this installation, Vulcanaz Ceres. That someone, my friend, is you. Of course it is. Who else would it be, right? Uh, take out Vulcanaz, got it. Your common vernacular aside, that is indeed the critical task. Vulcanaz Ceres has a key to the labyrinth. Eliminating the Vulcanaz and obtaining that key are critical components to our success here. I have other questions, though. Your curiosity knows no bounds. Very well. Ask away. What is the labyrinth? Part of Moloch Val's stronghold. It's a maze of tunnels that lead to the endless stair. No doubt the path is littered with traps and dangers, but we must push on. Cadwell tells us that the portal to the planar vortex awaits us at the endless stair. Okay, I got one more question for you though. Who is Vulcanaz Cirrus? As far as I can <coughs> tell, he's a trusted servant of Moloch Bal. Not only does he command the forces of this citadel, but he also has access to the Dark Lord himself. Hmm, interesting. Wait. Is it inside of this building? I don't... I guess not. I hate it when it does this where, like, it shows you the quest marker, but it doesn't tell you to leave, so you have to, like, carefully inspect the area. Hey, look, they took out the two people. There's a book right here. This is a merchant. Wherever you find. Might as well fix what little damage has been done. I don't see the book. Am 
I, oh, there it is. I was about to say, am I crazy? Apparently I was, because I couldn't find the book to save my life. Okay, so find the pyramid entrance. Take it away. Make it go away. Who's talking? Who's saying that? Make it go away? I don't think I will. Wow, something sounds enormous around here somewhere. So these are all mages, so we're winning the war so far, it seems. Because we've already taken... Okay, it's up here. Hey, what's up, Laren? Long time no talk. Only those of Daedric blood may enter the pyramid, little mortal. Uh, can you open the way for us? <clears throat> I told you that you'd need my help. A Daedric ritual locks this door, and only a willing offering of kin blood will open it. I am your key to Valkanaz Ceris. You are my key to vengeance. Why do you seek vengeance? My clan was destroyed, erased from this existence. And the hand that orchestrated that destruction was Valkanaz Ceris. He thought my clan was a threat to his power. Whatever the right or wrong of it, Ceris must pay for what he did. Uh, will you help me in the coming battle then? That I cannot do, little mortal. If the Valkanaz is banished by my hand, I will lose honor and standing. If you kill him, however, I remain true to my word. And Ceris abides in the darkness with my lost clan until Cold Harbor allows him to return. But wouldn't you assisting the enemy still make you lose favor? I don't know. These Dramora have a completely different way of thinking. But I'm ready. Open the door. Any day now. That was easy. Oh, now that I wish I would have heard her. Oh, we got a dragon that someone's fighting. That was, uh, easy enough. Oh, that's, that's him. Take him out. Did I miss my... I'm pretty sure I missed my ultimate. Even though the blade that banished him was not in my hand, his end was my doing. You have been a most useful weapon, little mortal. Take the labyrinth key with my thanks. Hey! Look at that, there's more Dramora here. They look so cool, man. Wait, find Vanis? I don't see him anywhere in here. I don't even see another door. Is it back outside? Maybe? Yeah, it is outside, okay. Yeah, see, these quest markers can be a little finicky sometimes. Oh, there's a... Fast travel point around here too somewhere. Hey, Vanis. <clears throat> I hope you brought the key. I did. We're ready to make the final push, but we're finished if we can't get inside. This is our last chance to save our world. It's all or nothing now. I have the key that opens the way to the labyrinth. How odd that the Dramora aided us against her kin and Molag Ball. She must have had a powerful thirst for vengeance. Anyway, it appears as if we are once again in your debt. Thank you, my brave friend. You guys owe me so much, it's ridiculous. Um, Let's get rid of that. Our forces have gathered and are ready to move. We need to find the planar vortex and end the plane meld once and for all. Uh, I mean, I've already said this to you, but I'm going to say it again, I suppose. I have the key to the labyrinth. <clears throat> Done. Then we still have a chance. We sent in a small force to cause a distraction. They probably won't survive, but they should keep the enemy busy while we get the rest of our troops inside. We need to make sure their sacrifice isn't in vain. Well, then what do you want me to do? 
We want you to get in there and open the labyrinth before we send in the entire force and reveal our numbers. Hanan and Gabrielle can brief you on the battle plans for the Fighters Guild and Mages Guild strike teams that will follow after you. Okay, I'll speak to ha uh, that person and Gabrielle then. So, this is Hanan. I have not- I can't pronounce that name. Fighters Guild is ready. We're prepared to follow you into the very heart of Molog Ball's lair. We shall not fail you. Uh, Vanna said you'd brief me on the plan? Of course. We've already sent in a small force, a distraction as it were. While they keep the enemy occupied, you slip in and open the labyrinth. As you clear a path, Fighters Guild soldiers will fall in behind you to hold the line. So, I can expect help when I'm done in- uh, when I'm in there? You need to be able to move fast. A large force would only draw attention to you and slow you down. Select one of our soldiers to take along if you like. But more than that would be more of a hindrance than a help. I wish you luck in there. Thank you. Alright, let's talk to- How do I take one, take one person? He said I could take one person. The Mage's Guild stands ready to do our part for this effort. I just wish I had as much confidence as Vaughn as Galerion. We're facing some overwhelming odds here, you know. First of all, I think she's really cute. She's a cute little character here. Uh, Vanis said you would brief me on the plan. Molag Bal is using tactics similar to what we faced in the chasm. He set up a portal to move his troops around quickly. As you head in to open the labyrinth, we need you to close that portal. Why not set the full force? King Dinar insists that the initial strike be fast and precise. He doesn't want the entire army getting in your way or causing Molag Bal to respond in kind. You've proven yourself time and time again. We have faith that you can do this. I mean, I have faith in myself. I was just kind of curious, you know. Uh, do you want to accompany me on this mission? Me? Really? I'd be honored. But I think you'd be better served with a fighter type right now. I'm sure we'll meet up somewhere along the way, though. I won't let the people of Nern down. Well, I hope to see you in there, then. After you disable the reinforcement portal, I'll try to catch up with you before you enter the labyrinth. We'll stop this plane meld together. We have to. Agreed. Oh, so, okay, so now I choose my people. Then I can only choose be between Darien or Cadwell. Okay, I'm not gonna lie to you. I think that answer is pretty simple. What's up, Cadwell? By the time you got over here, old chum, exercise is all well and good, but if I keep this up much longer, I'll be useless in the actual battle. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna need your assistance uh, once the assault begins, Cadwell. Of course. How marvelous. I shall march by your side into the darkest depths of foul iniquity. Our weapons are aloft and aglow with the fires of eternal righteousness. <laughs> you honor me this day, my friend. I gladly accept this mission. Yeah, uh, accompany on this initial assault then. My sword is yours, my boon companion. Together, we will protect the beautiful realm of Cold Harbor and perhaps even save that ugly rat hole you call home. <laughs> Victory. My name is Cadwell. Dude, I'm so uh dude, you're you're my you're my boy. Have you selected a companion to accompany I did. you? If you need more time to speak with your friends, please take it. This might be the last chance you get. It won't be. When you're ready, I'll give you final instructions and we can begin our final assault. Okay, if that's the case, then I'm ready. Very well. Come with me and I'll explain the exact details of your mission. Okay. Where are we going? Our forces are gathered, and the time has come to strike fast and strike hard. Time is not on our side, so we must make every moment count. Troops are already inside, fighting and holding ground, causing a distraction so that you can deal with Molag Baal's ability to call reinforcements. For the initial assault, Cadwell will assist you. Don't be fooled by his bizarre antics. For his heart is full of courage and honor. Fact. Close the reinforcement portal. That is your first priority. 
Gabrielle and her forces will join you then for the push to the labyrinth. Once the labyrinth is opened, you must make your way through Molag Bal's personal sanctum and find the portal to the planar vortex. That is your ultimate objective. If we are to end the plane meld, we must disrupt the planar vortex and cease its destructive storm. Take your brave companion and venture forth. Close the reinforcement portal so that our forces can wage war on the Daedric Prince. Then open the labyrinth and lead us to the planar vortex. Our destiny is in your hands. Is that it? Okay. The endless stare. That was a that was a pretty One long last speech. Chap. One last leap into the fire, unless we survive, of course. But how likely is that? I don't know. Let's find this first. Okay, discovered the endless sta uh, stair way shrine. Okay, well this is it, guys. These are all my people. Oh, I thought that was Darian. Right there. Hiya. Let's go. Oh, you're all gonna die. You are all going to die. That much is for sure. At least I'm still alive. You are going to stay alive at least a little bit longer there, dear. I promise you that much. Oh, that's cute. Let's go. Happy birthday. Hiya! Is it up there? It kind of appears like it is. You guys, I need to talk. Dunzo. Whatever it is we're gonna find, it seems like it's gonna be here. Or at least close to here. Endless Overlook. There we go. Wait, so there's nothing up here then? Well, that was... That was rather pointless. Yeah. It doesn't seem like it's nothing. So how do I get over there? Oh crap, I almost killed myself. It's gotta be in the bottom, right? That's that's where I'm going, the bottom. It has to be, I, I can't think of any other thing. If it's not up there, it's gotta be down here. Just to give me a little bit of extra stuff. Okay. Uh. How do I get over there? It's gotta be this way. Done so. Very nice. Is it, is it this way? Though? I don't know. I'm kind of. Cold Harbor aesthetically looks great, but the problem with Cold Harbor that I notice is that it's kind of it's kind of confusing to traverse sometimes. Okay, so it's not the way. That's also not the way. Hey, hello. Oh, glory. Very nice. Wait, who hit? Oh, there's people behind me too. Ow. He 
You messed up me and Cadwell. Good job, Bastion. That's why I keep you around. You're an absolute beast of an individual. Although, once I'm done training him, I'm probably going to keep... Actually, I probably will keep Bastion, because Bastion's going to be a tank. So, Bastion's probably going to stay in our service for the rest of this game, really. I like Miri, but my main character's probably going to utilize Miri more than anything. Ah, another beautiful creature has fallen under Molog Bull's spell of evil. We must set her free. By killing her. I agree. Guardian of the Gate, you say? Donezo. Done and done. Oh, that's it? Just... It's just a click? Another victory! I'm gonna run out of room on my scabbard. Where will I mark my kills? Eh. What is this place called? The Endless Stair? Okay, so yeah, this is... That is our end objective then, right? So we have open the labyrinth. This is it then. This is the full scale attack. Hey, what's up, Vanis? If you could have just teleported here, you could have done this. Now that we don't have to worry about overwhelming hordes of reinforcements, we're sending in the main assault force. While they keep Moloch Ball's minions busy, you need to navigate the labyrinth and find the portal to the plain air vortex. Do you want me to enter the, the labyrinth by, on my own? Of course not. Even I am not so foolish as to enter Molog Ball's inner sanctum myself. But you were, did Gabrielle it? Gabrielle and her mages will accompany you inside. He was foolish enough to do it before on a subsequent location. Uh, how will I know the planar vortex when I see it? Oh, you'll know the source of our world's destruction when you see it. Just find a way through the labyrinth and try not to let the deadly traps and horrible monsters kill you. Now go. Yeah, that's the plan. All right. He's kind of rude, but it's okay though. He was gonna say something. Who is this? Oh, Gabrielle. Hey. This room is so big. I never expected the prince to be much of a reader, but all these books. Imagine the wealth of knowledge they contain. I could spend years in here if we didn't have more important matters to deal with. I mean. Yeah. So, what's going on in here, anyways? We can't get out of this room. The door on the other side won't budge, and we haven't been able to figure out the mechanism yet. How can I help? Search around the room, I guess. Who knows? You might find something useful among the dark tomes and old fables about lusty Argonians. <laughs> I've never seen a mechanism like this before. It's rather fascinating. <laughs> or was this lusty Argonian a maid by any chance? <laughs> That's hilarious. I was not expecting that. So open the library gate. There is a ton of hit points that I need to hit. I think I remember this though. I think I have to like get this and then shoot it at something? Like that? What? Right? No. Could have sworn that was... Oh, right there. There's a book. Oh, don't... Oh, I thought I overshot it. Uh, book, Daedric Flame. I'm pretty sure I have to shoot it at those things. Completed, touch the flame to gain power. Right there. Wrong. Or do I just have to touch them? Yeah. Okay, yeah, that's what that's exactly what I thought. There's plenty of them around. And I got to blast them all, I think. I just don't know where they're all at, so I got to figure this out. Um, there's one right here. Right there. Bam, dude, Kameha Mayhot it. 
Well, there's one way down there that I'm sure I could do now. All I have to do is read those books. I think I have to jump on... Oh, God. I missed. Uh, it's okay. I think I can do it from here, actually. Yeah. Was that it? Yeah, enter the next area. That was easy enough. I remember the only reason I remember this is because I was so confused because I've been uh, basically speed running through everything, not listening to the story at all, and then I kind of got stuck here and I didn't really know what to do, so I had to like Google it, right? So we're good now. Bastion, what are we doing here? It's getting dark. I don't like it. I don't like the dark. It is really dark. I don't know how dark it is because YouTube's compression makes the dark feel darker. It's super dark for me. I can't imagine how dark it is for you guys. Okay, good. More light. Oh god, whoa, that scared me. I can't see you. Can we just get to the light, please? I'm scared. Come on, we're almost there. Um, right next to you. I'm actually outrunning you, and I'm not even sprinting there, Ga Gabrielle. I like her. Are you gonna do something here? Okay, no, just go into the door. I can't imagine we have too much farther to go. We just need to cross this region, and we'll find the planar vortex in no time. Is she an Imperial? Probably. I don't know. Uh, I'm ready when you are. Stick close to me. There's probably something waiting in here that wants to kill us. Of course there is. You should already know this, Gabrielle. Also, I can do what I want. Fire? No. Homegirl, what are we supposed to do? There has to be a way to get out of here. Wait a moment. Something bad is about to happen. Sometimes I hate it when I'm right. Here they come. Are you gonna... He literally didn't shoot the arrows. Um... Attack! Yes. Bastion, go handle the lightweights. Come on. We need to find a way out of here. Yes, ma'am. Are we gonna get attacked even more? I wonder. I need to get this door open. Hold them off while I work on this. Of course. <laughs> Uh, Bastion's ultimate is the is the it's the shit, man. I love it. Let's go. You want to attack me? It ain't gonna end well. Let's go. That was easy. And here I was thinking it was gonna be super tough. Hey, Caddy Boy! I knew I'd find them here. Interesting. I've never been to this area before, but it's breathtaking. He is so Stand weird. Well. Your mastery <coughs> of portals does you proud. Okay. Venice. Cad will take some getting used to, I must admit. Nope, he's but he really beautiful. He is an amazing fellow. He... <coughs> Wait a moment. What happened? Where's the rest of your team? Uh, the door sealed uh, behind us. Only Gabrielle and I made it this far. Well, the others will have to fend for themselves for the time being. I'll send Cadwell to find them shortly. Things are looking grim outside, by the way. We've lost many fine men and women already, and the battle is far from over. What happened? Even without his portal, Molog Ball has the ability to throw an unlimited number of forces at us. We're holding our own, but just barely. Winning isn't our goal, though. We just need to survive long enough for someone to reach the plain air vortex. 
Who have we lost? Far too many. Hanan was caught by surprise and wiped out, along with a large number of Fighters Guild soldiers. King Dinar's group was also ambushed, but he managed to fight his way out of it. Many were wounded, though. Time is running out. Hanan is dead! How can you just teleport around like this? I know, dude, you could, you could literally just go to the final room and call it quits. Thank Cadwell for that <clears throat> small favor. I'm not sure how he does it, but I think he's grown so attached to Cold Harbor that he's actually become part of it. Unfortunately, he can only teleport one other person at a time, and it is a lengthy process. All right, well, then let's finish it. The portal that leads to the planar vortex is just around the bend. Molag Ball won't simply let you walk up to it, though. He's going to do everything he can to stop you. No worried about it. I'll provide what help I can. And as usual, it will be considerable. Now go! <laughs> Alright there, Vanus. Do I have Cadwell again? No. Man, I want Cadwell back up on my side. I like Cadwell. Although he has no shield, he just has one sword. Not even dual wielding. Oh god. Hey, what's up, guys? I got feared to death. Right here. Just to give me a little bit of an extra boost. Who are these guys? Oh god. They're bad guys. Oh, they got a power attack. Oh no, these are. <gasps> oh, they're the wood elves that I helped before. Well, that's awesome. I wonder how good the fight would be had I chosen to save everyone in Cold Harbor instead of just the ones required of me. Probably would have gotten a lot, a lot of. Uh, no, I'm staying here. I want to fight this guy. Yeah, I got my wish. Ow. Ow. Potion. Companion Sash, light aggressive. Honestly, I'm gonna take that. Never mind. You have performed better than I expected. Even in the face of unrelenting danger and the worst horrors Oblivion has to offer. I am impressed. What are you doing here? Like you. I have come to finish this. Thanks to the efforts of your army, you have gotten this far without drawing the gaze of Molag Ball. I use a similar distraction to travel through this disagreeable realm unmolested. You're more than just a simple groundskeeper, aren't you? Keep working on it. You will solve the riddle eventually. There is more to do if you wish to save your world. To halt the plane meld, you must enter the eye of the storm. The planar vortex can only be disrupted from the inside. The only thing I can think of is that she's Meridia. Because the she she said that she's more than just a groundskeeper. The city that she belongs to, the uh, what is it like the lost city or something like that the back here the only good city in in Cold Harbor is protected by Meridia's power basically they said it like multiple people said that and she was in charge of getting an army together and the army is called Meridia's army the only thing I can think of that makes logical sense to me is that she's Meridia I don't know. Let's see. If, let, I, I legitimately don't know, so I, I'm curious to find this out. Uh, what do I need to do? You must enter the planar vortex, the interstices of space and time, where Nern and Cold Harbor churn and meld. Destroy the dark anchors within. Unleash the power of a light of Meridia at the focal point. Oops, that was an accident. You have, like you, keep working on it. 
What do I need to do? You must enter the planar vortex. The interstices of space and time where Nern and Cold Harbor churn and meld. Destroy the dark anchors within. Unleash the power of a light of Meridia at the focal point of the plane meld and disrupt the vortex. Sounds like a one-way trip. The life of one insignificant mortal to save an entire world? It is a small sacrifice. If you succeed, the brilliance of the unleashed light will consume the vortex and sever the plane melt. Nern will be saved. I think she's Meridia, guys. I think she's Meridia. Why haven't you, why haven't you helped us before this? I have been with you every step of the way. <coughs> I provided a safe haven in Cold Harbor. I gave you knowledge of the lights of Meridia. I needed a surrogate to act in my stead. I dared not risk exposing my true nature to the Dark Prince. She... she has to be Meridia. You used me. Used you? Of course I used you. <laughs> well, she's straight up. You knew what was at stake from the beginning. I love stake. And did what was necessary to save your world. Every choice you made was your own. As it happens, your choices suited my own ends. Okay. What do I need to do? You must enter the planar vortex. The interstices of space and time where Nern and Cold Harbor churn and meld. Destroy the dark anchors within. Unleash the power of a light of Meridia at the focal point of the plane meld and disrupt the vortex. That sounds like a one-way trip. I already said this. The life of one insignificant Okay, can I ask you something else first? World. Ask your questions, <coughs> but know that time is growing short. If we enter the vortex, what happens to our army? You cannot hope to succeed without the support of your allies. I will summon those who still live and draw them into the vortex with us. But won't they die as well when we destroy the planar vortex? The light of Meridia cleanses and purifies. There is nothing to fear from its brilliant embrace. She's Meridia. She has to be Meridia. That's the riddle that she was just speaking about. She has to be Meridia. Oh god, portal to the planar vortex. Well, this is scary. Destroy the first dark anchor? How? This is different than a normal... My power is greater in this between place. It is Viridia! It is Meridia! That's the groundskeeper! The Dark Prince will need stronger chains than that to stop me. Come. You seem surprised, Mordo. Did you not suspect my true identity? I did. I figured it out literally outside the door. Why did you pretend to be the groundskeeper? I did not pretend, Mordo. I am the groundskeeper. I merely hid the fact that I am also a Daedric Prince. My plans have been long in the making. Had I revealed myself too soon, I could have jeopardized everything. Touche, because then Molag Ball would have focused his gaze upon her. And in the weakened state that Meridia's army was, he would have won since his army's already, you know, finished pretty much. So, I guess she played it very well. She wasn't faking to be a groundskeeper. She really was the groundskeeper of the city, right? But she just pretended to be a human instead of a Daedric Prince. So why does the Great Meridian need my help? <clears throat> Do not presume to question my motives. Suffice it to say, 
I required mortal assistance to destroy the vortex and halt the plane meld. I'll do whatever is necessary to save my world. <clears throat> you mortals only see life as precious because it ends. It's true. Take it from a god. You'll never know how fortunate you are. Your allies have arrived. Speak to them before we continue. Sounds good. Wow. We have a whole little army here. Is that Fernir? Yeah, Ferniel. It's the wood elf. That's cool. We got Darien. We got everybody here. Oh, hello. Speak to your friends. For these moments may be their last. But do not tarry too long. Time is fleeting. And each moment is a thief that steals far more than it brings. That's cool. What do we need to do? The Lord of Brutality uses dark anchors to bind this vortex. We must destroy all three before the power of Meridia's light is unleashed. Otherwise, the resulting backlash could destroy Nern as surely as the plane melt would. What happens once we destroy the last anchor? Meridia's light must be unleashed at the focal point of the vortex. We will need to locate that focal point. All right, well then let's go. Again, I remind you that this will be your last opportunity to speak to your allies before the final battle begins. When you are ready, let me know. I'm ready. So it begins. Destroy the remaining anchors. I shall begin searching for the focal point of the vortex. Oh, the snap. Chains bind both planes. We cannot use the light until those chains are destroyed. Go quickly. So we have a whole group of people in this mission. Oh, that's going to be sick. That's going to be sick. This is this mission is called the final assault. This is the end, guys. I... Oh, I'm excited. Let's go. Where are these Daedric a-holes? They must be destroyed, for they are the scum of... This location. Ah! Ow! Well, with all these people here, they ha definitely had a lot of, have a lot of health. This is awesome. So, if we would have saved the Lamias instead of siding with the Wood Elves, we would have had Lamia here instead of Farineel. I think I chose right though because I do like Wood Elves. All right, what are we doing here? So we gotta destroy this thing. Oh, hello. Be nice to me. I want to switch weapons. Wait, what are we? Oh, there's Meridia. We have to hurry. Knows we're here. Does he now? Oh, yes, yes, he does. I grow weary of your games, Ravinia. Go, warriors of light. These dark chains must be broken. You cannot stop me, Meridia. This realm will be mine. Whoa, that looks cool. Come on, guys. Meridia is doing her own battle against Molag Ball. Oh, hello. I hate it when it does that twice. I really do. It's probably me. Like, I, I know it's me, but it's very sensitive. 
Are you guys coming? I guess not. You're walking awfully slow. Hello? So we gotta destroy the remaining anchors. So wait, are we in... Are we on... Are we in Tamriel? Or is this still... Why did he do it three times? I did not push it three times. Just making me use up my stamina. And heavy attack. That got stolen from me. We're running out of time. I'll make sure these anchors are destroyed. You have to keep moving. Place the light and disrupt this vortex. Will do. I'm sticking with her, my friend. Gabrielle and me, we've been through a lot. I'm not going to leave her alone. Darian. No one else dies today. That's an order. Come on. Let's go set the light in place. That was very cute. Not gonna lie. Darian, you earned a lot of respect from me today, dude. But you're stealing my girl. <laughs> I like Gabrielle. It's okay, though. I like I like Darian. He's, he's cool people, but... If I had a choice between Cadwell and Darian, and that choice to me was very simple. I love Cadwell. He's so cool. Darian's cool too, though. Confront the Council of Molag Ball? Yeah. The light approaches. It brightens the shadows. It attempts to break the darkness. Oh, snap. the darkness. You shall repel the light's Consume the light. You will tear it apart. You will destroy it. He will Our destroy father it. has spoken. He <coughs> wishes us to challenge you. Oh, they're not that tough. You believe the light can destroy my fair hell? Yes. The prince thinks I'm the loudest. She is more foolish than I thought. <laughs> They're not they're not tough at all. Oh shut up, Molag Ball. Where are you hiding? Canada. Oh how sad. You were drafted into a war you could never win. Merely fetching those. My council shall destroy. I tired of this game. I shall enjoy you shall die. Get behind my shield. Oh, he's right there. So if I stand over here, would he hit I'm not I don't want to risk it. Yep, that would have been me. Focus all your energy into this. We can't let up. I'm doing my best. Now you're just showing off. You deal with the crystal. We'll take care of our Dude. Guests. I'm scared to go too far out of this shield. Look at Gabrielle and uh, Vanus are both assisting Meridia. While the Fighters Guild and myself, and Bastion, of course, are over here kicking some serious ass. Go get him, Bastion. I'll go this side. Good job, Bastion. <laughs> Best is just chasing them. <laughs> Let's go, Darian. Just me and you, buddy. Go get him. We can beat this. We can. Darian, behind you. Oh. They're not. Darian's not gonna die. He's not going to. I promise. I hope he doesn't. Okay, I need my, my regen. Oh, alright. Hold on. Let's do it like this. So I'm getting regen while I do this. Or is it going to teleport me? No! Is Darian going to... Darian's going to die. Oh my god. 
Meridia, what happened to Darien? The planar vortex is destroyed. <clears throat> Molag Ball's plane meld is at an end. Am I dead? You are mortal. You began to die the moment you were born. You're not wrong. You're not fully dead. Not yet. Your song has only just begun, and many verses still lay before you. So then where am I? The vortex has been destroyed. I designed this place to be familiar and calming to you. It is a small pocket of oblivion under my protection. No harm will come to you here. Okay, but what happened to the others? Those present when you shattered the light were under my protection. They gather in the room beneath us saying their farewells. Those who were not a part of the final battle? I cannot say. Saying their fare farewells? The alien king suffered grievous wounds. He is near death, but he has not passed yet. What did you mean by only just begun? Do you not see how singular you are? How remarkable. You entered the realm of a Daedric prince, gathered an army strong enough to fight his legions, and saved your mortal world. You are a valuable asset, mortal. You will be of great use to us. You, uh, what do you want of me? For the nonce, <clears throat> we require nothing. But the Dark Princes have taken notice of you, and they have plans, and plans within plans. Prepare yourself, and be ready when Oblivion calls. What is that supposed to mean? Okay, Darien, my friend. I mean, uh, Dinar. Has finally come, it seems. I have, I have lived far longer than any of my people. Finally, I will, I will be able to join them once more. Oh no. What happened? How did you receive such grievi uh, uh, grievous injuries? <clears throat> Meridia's shield protected the others. Darien and I were outside the shield, dealing with Molag Baal's damn portals. I watched as light filled your body. You were a beacon. And the last thing I will ever see. So he's... So he's blind? You can't see me? Darkness fills my eyes. He's blind. As the light erupted around me, someone pushed me closer to Meridia's shield. It was too late to save me, but it did bring me here. My fate doesn't matter. I'm gladdened by the thought that Nern is safe. We did stop the plane mole, didn't we? Then I shall... I shall rest well, knowing my final day, the final day of the alien people, was spent saving Nern from the clutches of Molag Baal. At night, I... Save your strength, King Dinar. I want you to have this. A gift from my people to the hero of Nern. To honor you and those who fell beside me in this... Great battle. Thank, thank you. May the spirits guide me on my way. Ah. Time out. I don't use poisons. Oh no, he's dead. He's dead. So what am I supposed to do then? Um. Okay, let's move on.